There are three things in life that I have not found. Carmen Sandiego, obviously. Second, a good way to control RGB on my computer, but music-based. And lastly, something useful to do with my life. That third one is probably beyond the scope of what we could address in this video, and you're not able to necessarily give me feedback in real time, so we're gonna focus on that second option today. I actually did have good music-based RGB that was computer controlled once for about a week in March of 2017. That was on the ASUS Crosshair 6 Hero motherboard, and it broke after just a week because of a botched BIOS update. But the reason for making this video today in October of 2018 and why I've been busy making stuff over at my home office is because I saw this product online and I thought, wow, that looks pretty cool, but oh my goodness, that is so expensive. Do you know what else you could buy for your computer for that kind of money? Exactly. And if you had the choice between some fancy lights versus one of these in your computer, I think it's a pretty obvious choice. So what this product over here claims to do is to actually work with your video games to function as something like a health bar or other kinds of things that are tied directly to your game. And while that requires a level of programming that I'm not quite up to, I do have the Pilot LED Music Studio. I picked up four or five of them when they were just $5 on Amazon. I cleared out the last of their stock a while ago. They might have restocked since then, and if they did, you should definitely pick one up. But essentially what this does is it takes an audio signal and amplifies it up to 12 volts to work with your RGB LED strips. There are some sound cards on the market which advertise having the ability to point on the screen where gunshots are coming from, but not all sound cards have that and it's not always 100% accurate. And for those who are streaming, you don't necessarily want everyone knowing that you've got some kind of a cheat or an enhancement that gives you an unfair edge because the comments will be merciless on the internet. So what you can do is take something like the Pilot LED Music Studio, which basically just takes an audio signal and amplifies it up to a 12 volt RGB LED power signal thing. And so you can take the loud percussive hits with a lot of bass to them, such as gunshots or explosions or crashes, other things like that, and have it strobe a certain color behind your desk. So that's exactly what I've been working on for the last couple nights, when I should have been doing the dishes or taking out the trash. But to see if it works or not, I'm going to test two games. First up is Half-Life 2 Lost Coast, and we're going to see if it works, first of all, second, if it's helpful, and third, if it's worth it at all, or if I just wasted a, a couple hours. Okay, so maybe not the stupidest thing I've ever done, but now let's try Rise of the Tomb Raider. They believe themselves to be doing the work of God. From what I've seen, they're pretty far from holy. 
And what do you plan to do with that? I'll let you know what I think of it. They'll have heard that. While it does work on Rise of the Tomb Raider, just like it works with Half-Life 2 Lost Coast, there's a lot more sounds and ambience going on with Rise of the Tomb Raider, so it's not nearly as useful. It may look cool, but as soon as the first helicopter goes overhead, you will have such a big seizure because the helicopter is like pulsing two or three times a second with the blade sound, which means that these lights are strobing two or three times a second at full brightness. And I did that in a dark room literally last night and I had to stop playing. And keep in mind, I have my car wired up to shoot LEDs in my face whenever I'm playing music and I can handle that for hours, but I could not handle 10 seconds when it came time for the helicopter. So, Maybe this LED thing for games was a big mistake. However, it does work good for music. So if you liked watching me make a mistake and waste time on the internet, as most everyone on the internet does, then make sure to give this video a like. Why not give it a share, subscribe. I've got more videos over here that you should tech check out about tech. I'm gonna go get a drink of water, but you guys check out these videos. Hey, why not drink water while you watch these videos? That'd be a smart idea.